XRP community, welcome back to the channel, James Rule XRP. This is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a financial advisor. Let's get right into this. Coinpaprika.com. It is 8.30 a.m. Central Standard Time in Texas, and these are the current cryptocurrency prices. The market cap is at $367,230,000,000. It is down a bit. Bitcoin, it is $11,588. It's down 1.86 for the week. Ethereum is $3, or I'm sorry, $391.18, down 9.8% for the week. Tether is based on the US dollar, and it is a dollar. And I'll explain to you here in a second what Tether is and why it, it has taken third place on the cryptocurrency top 100. XRP is at 28 cents. It's down 5% for the week. And let's take a look at Tether. Tether, what is Tether? And I'm going to leave a link in the description below of this video. Uh, what is Tether? The creator of the first and most widely used stablecoin, Tether Limited, is a company operating a platform that issues blockchain-based assets linked to the price of government monies. Today, Tether supports four stablecoins, the US dollar, USDT, the Chinese Yuan, CNHT, and the Euro, EURT, as well as a stablecoin backed by one ounce of gold, XAUT. First launching the USDT in 2014, the company's idea was to make government monies more compatible with newer crypto assets, which trades 24-7 on an active global market. Each USDT token is redeemable for a corresponding US dollar held under custody by Tether Limited. The total value of all USDT is said to be equal to the reserves held by the firm. Once the USDT is newly minted and issued, it can be transferred, stored, and spent by a variety of businesses, exchanges, wallets, financial services, and individual traders looking to avoid the sometimes extreme volatility of the cryptocurrency markets. Today's stable coins are an emerging class of crypto assets that are beginning to find use cases beyond the world of trading, including in sectors like traditional cross-border payments. As of 2020, USDT remains the largest and most widely used stablecoin. And why do I say this? Because Tether, when US dollars are being printed and put on these exchanges, you're going to see an increase in volume. And right now, the 24-hour volume for USD Tether is $28,445,000,000. USD Tether... On all of these different cryptocurrency exchanges, when someone goes in and sells their Bitcoin for U.S. dollars, it converts the Bitcoin to USDT, it converts Ethereum to USDT, it converts XRP to USDT. So when individuals take profits and they want to cash out, they will convert the cryptocurrency to either US dollar or the Chinese digital yuan or euros. And that is the reason you are seeing Tether at number three right now. We are in hard times, people, with this pandemic and this virus and everything going on. People, unfortunately, are having to sell their cryptocurrency bags just to make ends meet. So don't panic when you see Tether number three on any of the like Coin Paprika or any of the charts. Do not fear because it is just saying that the U.S. dollar is being utilized more for these purposes for cash outs and all the good stuff. So anyway, I thought I'd bring that to your attention. A lot of people would wonder what USDT is, and that is what it is. All right, this morning. Crypto Eddie had a video and she referred Vitsevin's link to this. And this is a call post by Vitsevin, who is one of the creators of the XRP Ledger and the Sum app and the XRP uh, toolkit. And these are step by steps. I'm not responsible for this. This is for entertainment purposes only. And I have not gone through these steps. I hold my XRP on the Ledger Nano X. And I have yet to go through these steps until I fully understand and read this page roughly four to five to six times. So do your own research whenever uh, 
going through steps like this or you know setting up your ledger nano to claim uh, spark tokens on the flare network now these tokens have not been distributed distributed yet uh, flare networks is still in the process of putting all this together there are several exchanges that are going to claim the spark tokens for you I know BitTrue is one of them. I am on BitTrue, but all of my XRP is backed up on my Ledger Nano X. So what this is, is this is a blog that Vitsevin created that shows you how you can go in and set up your Ledger Nano X, or you can use some in the XRP toolkit to, to set this up. But like I said before, read through this. Uh, Vitsevin is not affiliated with the Flare Network. There is a link in here that shows the creation and redeeming FS, FXRP. I'll leave a link in the description as well. It's pretty lengthy and technical. All right, let's go to XRP Rich List Stats. Uh, this was created by Vitsevin, and what it does, it shows you trends of people that are purchasing XRP, and it shows you wallet sizes based on accounts. Now, if we look at number of accounts, and you go down here and you see this 2,081,000 XRP wallets and accounts, excluding escrows i posted a video a couple weeks ago and the reason i brought this up is because a lot of people in the xrp community and the crypto space own more than one xrp wallet so this number here 2,081,000, is the number of wallets but if you have four to five i have eight to ten xrp wallets so basically you can cut this number in half most likely if not more to show you how many people in the world own xrp this is the tip of the iceberg just saying you can go in here and look at these stats and you can click on these top accounts and see who the owner of these top crypto accounts are and at the top you're looking at ripple and you're looking at some cryptocurrency exchanges that hold these large volumes of XRP. And you can compare yourself to this list here to see what percentile range you are in holding XRP. Now, do your own research and don't FOMO. Don't have the fear of missing out. Don't spend your savings to get 150,000 XRP. Don't spend your savings to get 20,000 XRP. Only purchase cryptocurrency whenever funds are available. Pay your bills, take care of your family, take care of your kids, pay your insurance. Don't neglect any other thing when it comes to buying cryptocurrency. Crypto is here to stay. You are not going to miss out. Only make purchases when you can. Buy $50 worth next week. Buy $25 the following week. Don't take out a loan to buy cryptocurrency. Just a little FYI, it's Saturday morning. There's really not a lot of news out there. I'm just kind of covering some of these basics and letting all the new people know that uh, this is really an exciting place to be right now. Uh, cryptocurrency is the future and there are a lot of things going on behind closed doors as we speak with governments and with these fintech firms and there's a lot of information that is not hitting twitter it is not hitting google it is not hitting the news stream so get excited there's a lot of things happening and with this pandemic and everyone being in lockdown this digital age is starting to transform a lot faster than what was expected Follow me on Twitter at RuleXRP. I provide daily news. I share news. I, I share news with the XRP community, mainly pertaining to Ripple and XRP, but I do cover other news and other cryptos and stuff. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I will be updating it daily. Have a safe and wonderful weekend. Spend time with your family. God bless. Take care.